Hi, this is Jeff Janis, and today we're going to talk about the Icoe Sandblaster. This sandblaster was first branded as the Wolf Sandblaster, and it remains unchanged from when it was first introduced. Designed by Icoe and manufactured in Taiwan, this compact tabletop sandblaster is just the right size for jewelry work. One of the first things that you notice about the Icoe Sandblaster is how well built and designed it is. This isn't a funky discount toolhouse sandblaster. Unlike cheap sandblasters, the tight fitting container of the Icoe Sandblaster will keep the media where you want it and not floating around your shop. The sandblaster is pretty easy to set up, but first you're going to need an air compressor. The air compressor has to be able to output pressure of 40 to 70 psi, pounds per square inch, and at least two CFMs, which is cubic feet per minute. Otto Fry sells a variety of quiet air compressors. They cost more, but they won't make a racket when you turn them on like the cheap ones do. Okay, so let's show you how easy it is to set up the sandblaster. Before we get started though, a quick word about safety. Abrasive media is bad to breathe. Make sure that you are wearing proper respiratory protection whenever you are exposing yourself to it. Okay, now on to the setup. To keep the lid from marring, the Icoe Sandblaster comes with several sheets of a special Mylar clear film made by 3M that can be replaced as needed. To attach the Mylar film to the lid, remove the covering from the eight foam sticky pads and close the lid. The protective film will automatically stick to the lid. Next, attach your compressed air hose to the connector in the rear of the sandblaster. To adjust the air pressure, pull the knob up to release it and turn the knob to your desired pressure. When you get to your desired pressure, push the knob back in to lock it. The Icoe Sandblaster has very easy to read recommended air pressure settings. Now you need to add your sandblasting media. Remember, this isn't included and it needs to be purchased separately. Otto Fry sells a variety of grits of glass beads and aluminum oxide granules. As a general rule, glass beads give a wonderful finish on metals, but won't work on glass or enamels. Aluminum oxide is much more abrasive. It will frost glass or enamels and will sandblast metal more aggressively. Please note that silicon carbide media is not recommended for this sandblaster. Once you've chosen your abrasive media, open the lid and pour it into the sandblaster. Now that your sandblaster is set up, you're ready to start blasting. Open up the top and put your object inside. Put your hand into one of the gloves and pick up the object. Make sure that the lid is tightly latched. Put your hand inside the other rubber glove and turn the switch inside the box to on. Sand will start coming out of the ceramic orifice. Hold your object between one and four inches away from the orifice. There's no specific right or wrong with this. Sometimes you want to hold your object close to the orifice and sometimes you want it farther away. It works similarly to how a spray paint gun works, where sometimes you spray closer, farther, and with different pressures. To change the abrasive media, unscrew the cap at the bottom of the sandblaster with your empty media container underneath it. The sandblaster media will flow into the container. To get it all, you'll need to rock the sandblaster back and forth a little. It's important to completely clean out the sandblaster with a shop vac to make sure that all the media is out of the sandblaster box before adding any media of a different grit. Leftover sand will contaminate the next grit. You can reuse your sand over and over again until you notice contamination or a change in effect. If you're working with high value precious metals, be sure to include your used sand when you send your scrap in for refining. The Icoe Sandblaster features two separate filters. There's an input air filter to eliminate moisture, which can cause your media to clump, and an output dust filter to keep hazardous abrasive media dust from entering your workspace. Okay, so now that you got your sandblaster all set up, here's some things to try. These ideas are especially helpful if you're new to sandblasting. Here's a couple of sandblasted practice samples that I made. The first is green patinated copper with a cut electrical tape pattern. After I sandblasted part of the green patina off, I kept the electrical tape on and dipped the copper in liver of sulfur. Then I removed the tape to reveal a beautiful two-tone pattern. Next I tried something similar but this time with polished brass that was also masked and sandblasted to reveal another kind of two-tone surface.
You can do all kinds of functional projects as well with your sandblaster, like refinishing an old rusty tool. You can also try sandblasting different kinds of metals, glass, enamel, stones, and wood. I also highly recommend that you create a series of test squares showing what kind of marks that different grits make, which will act as your own reference library of textures. The ICOE Sandblaster comes with a kit of extra expendable components like a number of clear lid protectors, an extra pair of rubber gloves, and three ceramic nozzles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the ICOE Sandblaster. It really is a well-made tool. Please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe as well so you don't miss any of the upcoming AutoFry Tech Tip videos coming your way soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.